I remember growing up in Bulgaria, laughing and playing all day long with my best friends. And someone special who cared for me. Before I got so enchanted with the Boy Scouts of America that I left everything behind to become a Boy Scout leader myself. It cost me dearly, but I wanted to be a hero and make a difference. I moved to the US, trained, studied hard, only to learn that the organization had allowed their name to be sullied in the meantime. I could go back. I had to set the record straight on a personal level. Decided to become an Eagle Scout instead too. Now the Eagle's grounded until further notice. As a scout, I am trained to stick to the book and follow orders. And if I am to help others, I will have to go out and disobey the city's ordinance of quarantining at home. The news is always grim and undermine any hopes of imminent reopening, so I've turned to listening to various podcasts to pass the time. Unless one receives Jesus into their heart, the future looks dire. WEF mandates that by year 2030 there should not be natural born babies, but all of them should be DNA augmented. That's terrifying. It doesn't look as if I'll be having a baby anytime soon, but still, who was even there to consider? Marcella? Fran? They're fun, yes, but children. Little Val, guess she's always been the one. Taught me compassion, patience, caring, and I took her for granted. Somehow I always thought she'd be around and wait for me. I was such a blind fool, trading love for ambitions. If I had stayed, she would have married me, she said, and gave me this statue. Took a pandemic to make me realize what I'd lost. No use crying over spilt milk, they say. After all, tomorrow is another day. That's most likely my buddy Jero, going off the deep end like me. Yep, met him in Pennsylvania a few years ago when I was getting certified. Yo, man. Whoa, whoa, you know, playing with your peepee is gonna make you soft, soldier. No, no, no. I was doing my morning workout. Getting off is your workout. I was trying to spot liars. <laughs> Mission for today. 250 push-ups. Oh, I'm so uninspired, unmotivated to do absolutely anything, man. Uh-huh. This lockdown has done my head in, man. Get out of the house. You know I can't do that, Jer. Why not? It's a lockdown. You gotta win yourself to stay home, not go outside. It's breaking the law. Good duty. Yeah, it's not that easy. There's an elderly convulsing out there. I'm serious, man. It's creed versus law. It's a real moral oh, dilemma. Some Why should you be in service? Well, that's true. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Everything's changed. Let me go to bed later. I'll go find a calling scout and bring me food. Ah. Sobering as usual. Jero is some sort of ex special ops and a bit overbearing, but tells it like it is. He's right. I've put my life on indefinite hold and neglected my duties. I have to go out and put myself in service. He needs me for one, and I'm bound to offer help, even if that means breaking the rules this one time. Find love as well, perhaps. There must be somebody just like me out there. Just do it, Nike said. Keep a healthy spirit in a healthy body, Baden-Powell said, and thy spirit shall soar. Don't know who said that. Down the hatch. <coughs> wow. <coughs> All right. How do I go about helping the needy? Go out in the streets and start asking strangers, hi, do you need help? Everybody's going to think I've cracked. Maybe if I go around in my scout uniform, they will get the message. Like Batman, being watchfully aware of my surroundings until the right opportunity presents. And then, I pounce. And I'm not helping underage kids under any circumstances. Sorry. The streets are empty, like in a zombie movie. Ah, oh, there's one. Hello? Hmm, interesting. So odd to see the church empty. 
I will step in and take care of the homeless while the church is out. Start with Ned down the street on my way to Jero's. But first, some TLC for my trusty Red Stallion who will take me on my missions. Now, the mission of helping the homeless is very unlikely to help my search for love. <sighs> I'm such a hypocrite. Help only distressed beauties. But Boy Scouts need to multiply too, right? Well, let's hope Ned is still alive. Great! He's here! Oh, he's going to love this. Oh. Ah! Sorry. sorry, Ned. Please. It's coffee, coffee. I'm sorry. Can I get you another one? Tough. These are my date pants! I'm sorry. Come on, you owe me a bottle of whiskey. I can't do that. Can I, can I get you a sandwich? I can't. I'm hungry. Okay. Did you go make a sandwich with your boyfriend, you bitch? Ned is very much alive, even though I've never seen him put a mask on. Jero, on the other hand... Oh. Make sure gloves cover all exposed skin. Put your hand under the sack and gently tuck in the cup. Do not force down. Man, I can't... How am I gonna hook it up with these? They're two sizes too small. Can I just come up and uh, give you no, that? No, dude, I told you already. I heard the guy at the reception coughing. I'm not going anywhere near the first floor for two weeks, let alone have anyone pass through there and deliver food to my door. Use the drone. Come on, man. You already got me dressed as a janitor at a biohazard lab. How am I supposed to latch it onto this? Delivery guys do it all the time. Yeah, that's right. That's why you have me bike all the way here to deliver you food. I'm not doing this. It's your duty, Scout. Do a good turn daily. Don't forget. Do not force down. Load the bucket already, soldier. I'm getting weak up here. One soul saved. Now, a nice sandwich for Ned to make up for the... What's up with this crazy lady? Hey, hey! Roll. Not splat. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, are you okay? I didn't see you. I was rolling in there and I... Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I'm not hurt. This should be good. I'm Gosho. Oh, hi. Um, I'm Angie. Hi, Angie. Hi. Um, yeah, just uh, hold on. I'm so sorry. I didn't see you. I didn't look like an idiot. And then like I will... It's okay. It's okay. I, I, out of the corner of my eye, I saw you coming in. My reflexes are pretty good. Is she cute or what? I really can't tell with that mask on either. and the crazy hat. There and see that man Gloves too? He's my assistant. Can you see if he's wearing gloves, please? No. <laughs> Just wait one second, please. Okay. <clears throat> What's up, Ange? Hey, where are you? You know exactly where I am, and Did you get hand I'll see you too. No, they were all out. And why aren't you wearing your mask and your gloves? Like I told you, I'm still your boss till the end of today. Ange, why you keep acting like this? I don't know, Eric. I'm just so paranoid with all of this, you know? It's safety. Safety comes first. Why can't you just accept it? Okay, I've got to go. Bye. Sorry about that. It's okay. He's leaving me at 5.30 p.m. today. I mean, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. Where am I going to find an assistant like him? I mean, he's just so great. He's brilliant. He's always on time. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. And I need him to say the end of the week. Can you help me? Maybe you can help me. I can give you some money. Would you just go over there and talk to him? Just ask him to stay till the end of the day. Would you do that? Would you do that? I mean, you're a Boy Scout, right? You're a Boy Scout. For your trouble, please. Oh, no, no. Didn't they just file for bankruptcy? Yeah, it's really horrible. Some horrible people ruined it for us. I was oh, just excuse looking me, for... Oh, my God, my comments fall. Oh, yeah. Uh, gosh, yeah, thank you very much. You've been very kind. Um, I have to go. Call me, okay? Uh, thank you. Um, okay. No. What are the odds of a card landing like that? This was a sign. Angie is my mission. The English rose in distress, not Ned. Okay. <laughs> Commence Project Angie. One, she desperately needs help. Two, it's urgent, she said it. Her looks have nothing to do with my decision. Wow. <laughs> Get real, she's hot. I am giving her a call even if I lose my soul over it. What? Angie has cancer, Eric. Cancer? <laughs> what she got? Cancer. And she sent you to tell me that. She's too weak to argue. Bullshit. Well, who would make stuff like that up, Eric? You know, this is not... 
I feel you're a little bit, you know, insensitive hey. and arrogant. This is fucked up. Cancer? I'm sorry, I went overboard with the uh, cancer. But I'm desperate. And I can't afford to lose you, please understand. Is that a slurpee? Yep. I'm so glad we cured cancer today, Ange. I, I had to make him go the distance. He's a really nice guy, and he's still helping us stop fighting and listen to each other. Am I on speaker? Well, stop and listen then. Okay, my decision was final. I keep saying this, but you're not listening. What a bunch of pranksters. You two banging? No. No, I'm just helping her. Nobody does nothing for nothing in this town. What's in it for you? Nothing. I like her a lot. Look, I don't give a shit, all right? I don't care. I got a new girl already. I just don't know how to tell Angie about it because she could do a lot of damage if she gets pissed off. Maybe you can do it. I wake up and I see Eric being restrained by the firemen, so I just completely lose my mind. I start kicking and screaming and punching them. Did you guys get arrested? Yes, we did. You know, I realized, oh my gosh, I, I was so, I'm so in love with him because he was my hero and he completely saved me. That's unbelievable. But now, of course, five years later, he just drives me to distraction. But anyway, how about you? You know what, why don't you come over here you know, bring your mask and your uniform, and we can, you know, you can tell me more about mm. yourself. Told you not to mess with me. Told you. <coughs> Shut up or I'll do it for you. Let me go. Help! Help! Help, Eric! I'm gonna smack you good. Oh my god, Eric, no! Please don't hurt me! I'm coming for you. Help! You better not move. Invited him, Ed? <laughs> oh, he's all wet. Why don't you get him a towel, Eric? Go, show. Do you want a shot of tequila? It'll warm you up. No, thank you. Let's go over by the fire. Oh, are you okay? You seem a bit put out. Did he hurt you? Eric always goes too far. He's not here to play. He's in love with you, Ange. No, he's not. But he can be. Well, he wears a Boy Scouts uniform in Los Angeles. <laughs> Falls in love at first sight. <laughs> Don't you forget about love. Come play with a scout. No, thank you. I guess I'm just a romantic type. Oh, that's so cute. Why can't you be more like that, Eric? Because I want to smack it. I'm gonna be the bunny this time, <laughs> okay? Hey, Ned, I hope you feel like a coffee. You know what I feel like? You know what I feel like? I feel like busting open the heads of the kids who stole my car while I was taking a piss. That's what I feel like, no Why do they steal your car? Why? Why would they steal my car? Is the pandemic turning everyone into a lunatic? Why do they, get the fuck out of here. The theft of his cards is a great opportunity to gain his favor. Tomorrow morning, I'm helping at the mobile homeless showers. We clean 
up after they take a shower. If you can come out tomorrow, it'll be great. Some TV channel will come to and film and interview the homeless, so you can get your two minutes of fame. All right, bye. Oh. Oh, hold on. I'll help you. Hold on. Thank you. Oh, yeah, of course. Let me look. Let me help you to the car. Uh, look at these. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course, of course. <laughs> Hi, my name is Gosho. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, uh, yeah. I couldn't help overhearing that you were uh, you helping at the homeless showers. Yeah, yeah, we're we're doing this event tomorrow. Oh wow! Um, can, you, um, can I get involved with that too? Sure. We're always looking for more volunteers. I know somebody that may benefit from one of these. Oh yeah. Tana, call G Man. Yo, man. G Man, you never responded to my text. Too busy jerking off? No, I'm waiting for this girl to uh, get me to clean the homeless showers. Hey, when you're done, why don't you come over to my place and flush my toilet for me? Wait, wait. The news is going to come and film. Dude, are you a nutbagger? You want to die in a hospital drowning in your own mucus for some broad? I'm left with nothing to do besides counting beans in jars and repacking my bug out bag. I think helping out a few folks down on their luck is not such a bad are idea. Are you not aware of the gravity of the situation? You become whiny. And unreliable. <laughs> every time of closing a girl man who had a tizzy and stopped courting me. Well, it is said every morally right act has good outcome or consequence. All right, man. Just Let don't me... call me when you end up I'll call it. I'll call it. Bye. Later, man. So, Desmond, looks like it's you and me tonight. What was that? Netflix and chill? Why not? Good morning, good morning. Thank you. Yes! Woo! Nothing like a hot shower and shave, am I right? Morning, sir. Can I take your name down? Uh, here's a mask for you. Did not need one in Nam, do not need one now. Great, he made it. Lena! Lena! Stop this nonsense. Stop it. What are you doing you. here? Are you following me? And you'd better put on a mask, borracho. You're gonna let a virus make you forget what we shared? A home? A dream? A piss bucket? You gonna, you gonna let this plague make you forget the most goddamn important thing in this whole shit show? Listen to this, people are dying for real and you won't even wear a mask. Are you real? real? Here's real. Pineapple grenades, US government authorized, 1945, okay? I know you love me, you love me. But if you say you don't, we're going out with a bang. Oh my God, he's got grenades. At least I am. He's got grenades! Go what? ahead. Oh. Uh, this mask is giving me a rash and making my nose itchy anyway. Maybe I'll see Mama and Tutu. Oh my God, this is crazy. Why is this happening? Why does he want to kill her if he loves her? He's lost all hope. Do you condone this lunatic? No, I, I know him. His name is Ned. He's not a bad guy. Oh my God. Go talk to him. What am I going to tell him? Stop, don't do it. Yeah, that sounds good. Ned! Ned, hey! Hey, it's the, the scout on the bike who brings you coffee every morning. Hey, Ned, can I talk to you, please? It's not your moment, scout. It's the pretty lady here, and there's a question pending for her. What's it going to be? Wow, great, great effort. 911? Money. Yeah, there's a guy with grenades. You want to love him. I sent you letters from prison. Um, he's... Ah! <laughs> Ah! You got some kind of suicide wish, son? You even think about what you're doing? You are lucky as hell, those were dummy grenades. The real ones blow out 50 feet. 50! Don't you, Ned Grant? You're gonna scare him to death like you did with Tutu. Let him go. Te amo, borracho. Dumbass. Ah.